this is a region that is very rich from a natural resource perspective and yet interestingly all of the countries in the region are among the, the bottom 20 or 30 least developed countries uh, classed as among the poorest in the world and you wonder why um, I think in the last 20 years or so people have begun to realize that sustainable development is not just uh, for reports or for big conferences and people making big speeches sustainable development is actually about reflecting on how we can ensure that our actions today uh, as we fight for our survival do not compromise the ability of future generations because that's what we've been doing and I think that uh, it's become increasingly apparent that as population grows as more and more people uh, out of work and as our climate begins to change uh, it is now critical for us to reflect on and taking care of the ecological foundation on which all this development is going to happen. We are essentially a forest people. The forest goes, our culture goes with it. We are, say, 80% of the people are agrarian, basically, in background, you know. Everybody's got some idea of what to do in the garden because that's how we survived. And if the land can no longer produce um, in a way that supports populations, what happens? There are all these questions that we ask ourselves, but at the end, the, 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 the foundation of all of this is a growing recognition that we have no choice but to take better care of what we have. Uh, of course, the challenge now is how do we uh, um, reconcile uh, the need to conserve what little resources we have left with the growing challenges of uh, providing for a growing population uh, in a country coming out of conflict. Uh, these are tough decisions, tough choices, but they are tough choices that we have to make, otherwise our very survival is in jeopardy.